number 24. It's time for the NBA, live on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. D.A., take it away. Kevin, thanks. 2019's most improved player, Pascal Siakam, went from an energy player to an all-star. Siakam said, after every season, I look at the things I have to do better. When the summertime comes, I just attack it and work. It's about making sure that I'm a better player than I was the year before. Kevin? Oh, you know what? I love that work ethic. Thanks, D.A. A look at the Magic starting group. Carter out there with Mo Wagner. Then it's Anthony. Then there's Harris. And it's Bacon in at the three. And for Toronto. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Lowry out there with Fred Van Vliet. And it's Birch in at the center position. Right now, both these sides dealing with injuries. We won't be seeing either of them at 100%. I agree with you, Kevin. It's been tough for both of these teams as they work through their rotations due to the injury bug. Credit goes to not only the coaches for trying to plug the holes and manage their rosters, but to the players. You know, when you're a pro, even if you're not initially in the rotation, you've got to always be ready to go. And these guys have stepped up well, the reserves. Now here's Van Vliet. The three kept alive. It's good on the putback. And, and, folks, he did not luck into that one. He knew just where he wanted to be to grab that backboard. Here's Anthony. Birch grabs the board. And the Raptors with possession. Last game matched up with the Clippers. A tough loss there. Well, I, I felt like they were never on the same page defensively in that one. Gave up way too many easy shots. And, you know, that's all about effort, and I'm sure their coach let them have it for the lack thereof. Well, Greg, Pascal Siakam won most improved player in the league in 2019. Take a break. And Take a break. as we've talked about, Two had shots. a case for it again in the 2020 voting. I tell you, Siakam's play jumped so much again. He deserved the recognition. He continued to press himself to be an elite forward, rare for a former MIP winner to even be considered for the award more than once. Siakam hits them both. It, and it's been a really good day for him at the line. Some other bigs have well-documented problems on their free throws. He's not one of them. Now here's Anthony. Pass to Bacon. Carter down low. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. In the seventh pick of the 2018 draft, Carter Jr.'s potential is enticing. A bruising big man with a bright future ahead of him. And the first one at the line is good. hits them both. And Zulawi will bring it up for the Toronto Raptors. 
and Van Vliet. Here we go. That one goes in. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Here's Bacon. And they get some nice contributions from him on a nightly basis as he averages over 11 points a game. Five to shoot. And it's Carter missing. Those are chances almost always you can rely on him to get you two points, but the D is just enough to keep him out of rhythm. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. You know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. Now here is Carter. Whistle blows. Bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. That's his first Took a little time, but they get one to go. Maybe they're warmed up now. The Magic shooting their third free throw shot of the game. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. In Toronto, they've gone three of four from the field to start out the game. Outside Lowry. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Cole Anthony. Defense getting too close. Lowry has that instinct to read what's happening, takes the shot there into the contact. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Kyle Lowry. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. Clark with last season shortened. Maybe some second-year players hitting the rookie wall for the first time here in 2021. That's a good point. I mean, again, the carryover, you know, people tend to look at this thing in compartments this season, this number of games, but there is carryover. I mean, teams that go through lengthy runs in the playoffs each year and then start up again oftentimes have fatigue battles that other players and teams don't. So that's real, the fatigue that carries over from season to season. There's Bacon, and it's blocked. They recover it, and the shot is good. Carter's got seven. And so Van Vliet will bring it up for the Raptors. Lowry drives in, and it's sent back by Carter. Bacon the pass to Harris. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Got to be careful how you defend Harris now because he's really good at drawing fouls. And he's got his first free throw of the game. And with the percentage of, of 82, he's been one of their more dependable shooters from the line. You know, even in games where he hasn't been at his best this season, I mean, he still managed to get it done at the charity stripe when he gets his opportunities. The first one falls. This guy, Gary Harris, is a player on the rise. I love how confident he is. He knows he belongs in this league. And Toronto making a change here. Trent's checked in. And it's tied up with that one. Here is Lowry. He's been a nice option for them offensively, and he's averaging more than 17 points a game. No good that time. The Magic go the other way with it. This game coming after a loss against the Bucks. Well, in that one, you could pretty much see the writing on the wall. Their performance was lackluster at best. Yeah, they looked distracted, far off, distant. I mean, it seemed like their heart wasn't in it to try to win that game. And Lowry gets it to go. And with the body control and jump shot Lowry possesses, he has been known to torch you from the perimeter. Here's Bacon. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Putting up a goose egg bagel this period. At this point, you have to run the offense through somebody else. I mean, that's your only choice. Lowry passes to Trent. Van Vliet against Harris. 
Count that one from Van Vliet. Orlando trailing here. And there's the pass to Bacon. Harris with it. Here's Bacon. Out to Harris. The Magic need to get a shot off here. Here's Wagner. It's hold in by Trent. You're not going to see that very often. Plenty of space, but he just, let's face it, he whiffs on it. Birch's shot's good. And a nice job here early of establishing an inside presence. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. And then Carter with the dunk. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Here's Bacon. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And read the plate perfectly. Gets himself in the air at the right moment. Terrific denial. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. Here's Randall. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against the Bucks in Milwaukee. Pass to Bamba. Randall surveying the D. Out to the right wing. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hampton. The Magic again can't hit. Raptors have gotten six of 11 shots to go down so far. Pretty nice shooting. Trent passes to Birch. He kicks it to Lowry. Van Vliet, right side. Trent, rebound by the Magic. And there's the feed to Hampton. Second shot opportunity. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. All the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. And he knocks down the first one. Greg, I know you've played for some great coaches in your day. What is it that separates the truly elite coaches, in your opinion, from just coaches that are pretty good? I think the one attribute that's most important for a great coach is consistency. Hmm. And, and I've said this, you can, you can coach a lot of different ways. You can win a lot of different ways. But you've got to be sincere and true to your principles and and your philosophy and those are the coaches and I've had them that have done it different ways but they've been the most successful and listen you've also at the professional level you've got to have a presence about you you got to have some charisma out there as well to get these men to buy in now here's Randall nothing yet on the scoreboard for him teardrop shot it's deflected Trent passes to Birch. Randall grabs the board. Yeah, you, you won't see him miss many dunks unless you've got somebody right in his face, as was the case there on that possession. Well, he has not been sharp this period. Seems to be a little flustered out there, too. Here's Braz Dacus. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Johnson with the block. Pass to Bembry. Toronto working the ball around now. Trent passes to Birch. Here's Trent. Another miss, and they've really hit a rough patch here. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. 
Well, a chance to check out Birch here. He's been more than solid over the last month. Tenth in blocks, and not many players convert opportunities inside as well as he. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And his ability to patrol the lane is a difference maker for that team. Exceptional timing and, and anticipation. That's why he's a top 10 shot blocker. And that drops, so they now lead by one. And trailing here in the early going, too many careless fouls, and they're giving up a lot of trips to the line. Yeah, not only the trips to the line are a concern, but the foul trouble also. You've got to play defense with your feet and do so without foul. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Toronto. That one misses. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Well, I don't think there's any question about it. They came focused and ready to play. I mean, they're doing everything they can to uh, put things in their favor. You earn that, and they're actually earning it well right now. Now, here's Hampton. Baines with the block. They get it back. Brasdakis passes to Carter. Here's Brasdakis. There's the triple. And Baines pulls it down. Toronto's gone. One of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Here's Trent. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. As to Bembry. Trying to get something going. And it's sent back by Carter. Now Hampton. Side. Now the pass to Braz Dacus. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. And the Magic lead by three. The Raptors shooting 33% here in the first quarter. Memory the pass to Trent. Wide open look. Rebounded by Hampton. Hampton's got four rebounds now tonight. You know, they're losing in large part because he's, he's not playing well. It's really as simple as that. And it's Carter missing. Fast break, Toronto. Now here's Hood. Defense is right there. Trent passes to Baines. Over Randall. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. Magic leading by three. Hampton with the ball. And it's Johnson picking him up. Here's Braz Dacus, and Baines pulls it down. Braz Dacus has gone one of three shooting so far. Here's Hood. They grab their own miss, and R.J. Hampton is going to pick up a foul. That's his first foul. Kyle Lowry, he's checked in for Toronto. In for Kyle Lowry. Fifty seconds left in the first quarter. Outside Hood. Shot clock at five. To end the run. A shot by Lowry. No good. Boy, that defense smothered him in there. Loved the intensity. Here's Hampton. And he hits the jump shot. Hampton's got five now. About time he got one to fall there before that six straight misses to start this one. Here's Benbury. And again, Toronto no luck. Magic leading by five. That's the card. Here's Braz Dacus. And it's wide right. It's off the rim. And so the first quarter is in the books. Magic lead by five. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in just a moment. Pascal Siakam before the game tonight shared his thoughts reminiscing about his championship year with Kawhi Leonard. We was always a team. I think we don't look at one player and say he's going to save us. You know, we got to save each other. We got to, we got, we got to play for each other. And Greg, that's how Siakam plays the game himself. Versatile, very unselfish, and a franchise player in the making. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And guys, for the Magic, what jumps out to you so far? And numbers-wise. 
Well, when, when you control the glass, you control the second chance opportunities on both ends. And, you know, their rebounding advantage has been glaring, simply outworking them on the boards for that entire first quarter. And so in the game for the Magic, Bo Wagner out there with Bamba. Then there's Hampton. Then it's Randy. And it's Bryce Dacus in at the three spot. Magic leading by three. Bryce Dacus passes to Hampton. Good D by Siakam. Oh, you, you've got to be able to deliver when you get a bunny like that. That's just too easy of a shot to miss. And the Magic with possession. They've got the Hawks ahead of them in their next game, and it's in Atlanta. That puts them squarely in the middle of this five-game road trip. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Flattening the lottery odds, Greg. Do you think that's worked out as intended? You don't hear as many predictions about who's going to get the one pick or the second pick. I think that's good for the players and the fans. You don't want anyone rooting for you to lose. No, absolutely not. And he makes the first. Some changes for Toronto. OG Ananobi's checked in for Johnson. And it's Fred Van Vliet in for Bembry. Orlando also making some changes. Wayne Bacon's checked in for Muhammad Bamba. And it's Gary Harris in for Hampton. Good on both. Now here is Lowry. He's got six. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Here's Baines, uses the glass to finish the lane. And the defense, no factor, which is why he simply laid it in. Lowry against Randall. Passes to Bryce Dakin. On the wing, Harris. Shot clock at six. To the paint. Outside for Randall. Over Lowry. Once again off the mark, Orlando. Raptors trail by three. It's tipped. And now Orlando on the break. And stolen by Siakam. That's good from Van Vliet on the assist by Siakam. Van Vliet's got nine points. You know, no time wasted getting that ball up the floor for the uncontested finish. Randall passes to Bryce Dacus. Banked in off the glass. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. Now, here's Lowry. Six points for him. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. The shot's good from Bacon. Now it's a five-point magic lead. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. And Clark, you got to like what Bacon brings to the table. It has some size, strength, athleticism. He can create his own shot, but the consistency has been really up and down thus far. Yeah, I'd agree with you, and I love his motor. He wants to get better. He's working at getting better. And like with most young players, you have to understand when the shot's not going, there are a lot of different ways you can contribute. Bring your energy and definitely bring your energy and activity to the defensive end and on the glass, and you'll always find a spot where you can help your team. Here's Wagner following the basket by Fred Van Vliet. And that's just great work there to get in the shooter space and then go and corral that backcourt. Got that one up quick. Nine points in the game so far. You know, that was a time when three-point shooting was a liability for Lowry. But the guy has put in the time, and now he is a solid option from deep. Here's Bacon. Good D by Siakam. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. And now the first time out called here for the Magic. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer.
has checked in for Aaron Baines. Time to change for the Magic. Anthony's checked in. In the corner, it's Harris. Anthony with it. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Bros Dakers. Five on the clock, and here's Harris from the arc. Once again off the mark, Orlando. And so Siakam will bring it up for Toronto. Inside, Birch. Kicks it out to Van Vliet. Three-pointer, Lowry. That one's not going to go. And it's the Magic taking it the other way. And the pass to Bacon. Back to Anthony. He's now one for two with that bucket. Cashing in on the interior, making it look all too easy. And Boyd with the bounce back. And the basket is good. But with a harmonious blend of length and strength, Siakam has become a dependable interior scoring option. Now here's Anthony. That's to Bryce Dakis. Back to Anthony. On deep. It's rebounded by Ananobi. Ananobi has got four rebounds in this game. This is it to Siakam. He gets that one. Siakam's got four points this quarter. Wow, what a pass there. He made that a very easy basket with that setup. Azegas passes to Bacon. Toronto's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter. Only hitting one of five attempts. Van Vliet kicks to Siakam. A hand on it and the whistle stops gameplay it's not a clean block shot instead of shooting foul and we'll see free throws coming up right here he'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here take a break take a break two shots we throw good Siakam after a quiet first couple seasons in the league, Siakam really took off in year three when, when he helped the Raptors win their first NBA championship. Siakam hits them both. And that's the norm for him. He's pretty much automatic when he's at the line. Van Vliet against Anthony to the middle. Here's Carter. The shot, no good. Raptors leading by four. Here's Trent. Trains it from beyond the arm. Trent's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And, and doing much better now in that first quarter, converting less than 30% of their field goal opportunities. Bouncing back nicely here in the second. And, and I like the bowl move of going right back at him to return the three, but he just couldn't get it to go. Down low, Birch. Bamba with the block. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. The Magic trail by seven. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Anthony, the pass to Bamba. That one doesn't go. Toronto's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter. Just two of six in long range. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. It's on Cole Anthony. I'm just so impressed with Siakam's offensive improvement over the years. I mean, he's mastering the ability to play in attack mode. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. You throw good, Siakam. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Yeah, you have to make teams pay for fouling you. That's why they call them free. And they've done exactly that. Made them pay. Catching up on the changes for Toronto. Johnson, he's checked in for Kem Birch. And DeAndre Bembers subbed in for Fred Van Vliet. And the Magic making a change here as well. Hampton's checked in for Gary Harris. And it's Anthony with the ball for the Orlando Magic. Nine-point game. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. 
And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. a quick look now at how the point totals have looked over the last several months for Fred Van Vliet. Look, sometimes you go up, sometimes down, and, and, and the trend has been on the downward side in terms of his average points per game. And a variety of factors can be the culprit. And, and a lot of times you focus on the efficiency more than just pure point output. The Magic again can hit. I, I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. Now, here's Hampton. Following the miss by Pascal Siakam. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Here's Bacon. Pass to Bamba. The end of the drought. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. That one on Johnson. Yeah, you can see Bamba's composure down there. I mean, even when he's under pressure, he stays aggressive and calm. The magic of shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And the first one at the line is good. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, it's fairly obvious, but it's important that Bamba stays healthy so he can keep improving. I mean, his skill set and physical tools both are very impressive. His upside is way up. There's Bembry. He's coming off a 10-point game against the Clippers. Shots good by Siakam. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Carter outside. That's tipped. Anthony with it. Now guarded by Siakam. There's the pass to Bacon. He feeds it to Carter. And it's good with time running down on the shot clock. Carter's got 13. Raptors leading by nine. Right wing unloads from 13. And that one hits back iron. Yeah, but the hand in the face. It's critical that you contest his shots every time down the floor. Hampton passes to Bamba. Here's Bacon. And Bamba now top of the key. Offline from the top of the key. Now you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look, but when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. And it's sent back by Carter. To the inside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And let's take a look at the numbers for Siaka. The last 10 or so games, he has been remarkable. Averaging about 23 points per seven rebounds and three assists. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. And Toronto making a change here. Baines is checked in. And a change for the Magic. Randall's checked in.
That misses, so he splits the free throw. You know, he didn't get to the line in that entire first quarter. But right now, he's showing some aggressiveness out there. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. This is his first free throw of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And free throw good from Hood. Both free throws good from Hood. The Magic trail by 10. Pass to Anthony. Pulls up. Offensive rebound. And they pick up two. Carter's got 15 points. Bully ball at its finest there. Carter Jr. brings a physical presence to this team. Passes it to Bembry. Here's Trent. Wants to get it to Baines and does. That one no good. Good work defensively by Carter. So it's Toronto in the driver's seat up eight points at the end of the quarter. Their defense has been active and effective. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thank you, Kevin. Kyle, a good first half for you all. How do you continue that for the rest of the game? We got to come out with our energy. We got to come out and play our game and keep going out there and pushing. Our defense and everybody's rotating, so we're playing together right now. We'll see if you stay connected in the second half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to 2K Sports. Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Let's get to it. Fred Van Vliet has been the story in this one. He had 13 points and one assist. He's been a different player than he was in their last outing. When he was off his game, he's rounded back into form tonight. And let's get your thoughts, big fella, on the Raptors. Well, they really dictated the pace of the game with their transition. They got out on the break every chance they had, and the time they could push the tempo, they did. And a lot of times, they kept the defense scrambling like eggs with the cheese and apple juice. How about you, Kenny? What did you think about Orlando? Well, obviously, they were outshot. I thought they mailed it in too many times in terms of their effort. People weren't moving, they weren't screening, and they definitely weren't hustling. They need to hit the ground running to be competitive in the second half, or they could get blown out. And that's a wrap. With the third quarter approaching, we now send you back to Kevin and the crew. Just joining us in this one. First half is in the books. One half to go. A fantastic game from Wendell Carter in this one. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Ananobi and Siakam in at the forward slots. Fred Van Bleed out there with Lowry. And it's Birch in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. So that's the five in the game for Toronto. Anthony's shot is off. That's one he knows he should have drained. Ananobi kicks to Lowry. Shoots it up. Rebound by the Magic. Wagner's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Anthony looking it over. From outside, off the mark. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. 
and he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. And that sends Gary Harris to the free throw line. Fred Van Vliet picks one up. One shot. Second half just getting started. About a minute played. Now, here's Siakam. He's defended by Wagner. And stolen by Wagner. Bacon the pass to Carter. And it's Toronto with the rebound. They've led by as many as 11 points. When this game is done, they'll be off to Chicago as they take on the Bulls. And that'll be the first of a two-game road trip for them. There it is, the first basket of the half after missing their first three attempts. Anthony, the pass to Bacon. Knocked away. And here we go, Van Vliet heading to the hoop. Right on the bucket. And now it's a nine-point Raptor lead. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Pass to Bacon. And Anobi sends it back. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's Lowry, and it's in. Bounce off the right side. Lowry's got the lead up to 11 now for the rep. Anthony dishes to Carter. The pass to Bacon. Outside Anthony. Fires the three. Bacon's shot is off. This fires again, and the ball just refuses to cooperate with him. It's a tough day so far. Pass to Birch. And here is Van Vliet. Bobs it up for Lowry. A flawless finish on the alley -oop. And the Raptors lead by 13. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Here's Carter. That one's off. Still out of sync. In Toronto, they've gone 4 of 7 to get things started here in the second half. Passes to Van Fleet. Back to Siakam. Good, and Van Vliet gets the assist. Van Vliet's got his fourth assist in this one. Boy, you look at the defense, not nearly the hustle or energy at that end of the floor. It's the exact opposite of what it was in the first half. Time call here. The Magic decide to talk it over. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Vegas has checked in. Here's where Toronto sits right now in the league ranking. And looking at their ranking in points off turnovers, numero uno. <laughs> and that's how you demoralize an opponent. Make them pay for every mistake. They get the rebound. And the basket by Harris. Harris. Harris has got five points now this quarter. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Toronto. And stolen by Harris. Kicks it to Anthony. Pass to Bras Dakis. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shooting for Shooting two. And the first one drops. Randall's checked in for Orlando.
That one falls, so he hits both of them. Toronto leading by 11. Here's Lowry. Good. Nice job down low. Lowry's got six here in this quarter. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Vegas passes to Wagner. Takes the three. And it's Toronto with the rebound. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. Here's Randall following the basket by Pascal Siakam. And it's blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. A fantastic mobile one block. This one deserves another look. And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Hampton's checked in for Carter. Just five to shoot. Beyond the arc. Randall no good. Here's the Raptors with the ball. They're on a 14 to four run. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Out to the wing. Here's Hampton. And it's Van Vliet with the rebound. Raptors leading by 15. Ananobi kicks to Van Vliet. Back to Ananobi. And stolen by Harris. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Randall against Lowry. Here's Hampton. Yes, that goes in. Hampton's got seven points. Given the size disadvantage, you have to have a lot of confidence to take that shot. And you know what? He does. I mean, in the NBA, you've got to have ways to score over defenders of all sizes. That's his second first. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Raptors. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going and you just want to keep it going. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. First one falls for him. And the Magic making a change here. Bombas checked in. And so Van Vliet nails both of them. The Magic trail by 17. And here is Hampton. He's got seven. Here's Bryce Dakin. But they'll get another chance. Second chance shot. Baines with the block. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performance out, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Braz Dacus following the basket by Pascal Siakam. Five to shoot. Stolen by Van Vliet. Now the Raptors moving it up, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. That one on Hampton. And this is his second trip to the line tonight. And, and just a top-notch free-throw shooter this year, all the way up there at 88%. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. Free throw good, Van Vliet.
That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. The pass to Bronze Dacus. Back to Randall. Lock at six, but three. Magic working now with the new shot clock, and he gets it to go. Bamba's got five. Boy, Bamba, really a dogged rebounder despite his slight frame. He's got great length and timing, and his intensity is really impressive. Pass to Siakam. Back to Lowry. Nice pass. Let him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Lowry's got 19 points. I'll tell you what, guys, this has clearly been his half. I and mean, he's getting to a spot, shooting the ball with confidence. Excellent turnaround for him. Now, here's Hampton. He has seven. Count that one. Boy, that was a sweet-looking teardrop. There's very little defense for that. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And gives Seattle the hoop and the harm on that one. And since being drafted back in 2016, he's really improved that upper body strength. OG Ananobi's checked in for Aaron Baines. And Siakam, no good on that one. The Magic trail by 21 to the paint. And Hampton gets it to go on the assist from Randall. Randall's got four assists in the game. Yeah, I love the communication and the chemistry between those teammates. Now, here's Siakam. He's got 20. Out to the right wing. Here's Ananobi. Offensive rebound. Van Vliet. Good for the basket. Number nine. He's only missed two shots from the floor all night. Well, you got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Randall against Lowry. Stolen away. You know, here we go. Lowry, nobody back. Finished off the break. Lowry's got 12 now in this quarter. And, and offensively, they seem to have turned a corner. Yeah, I don't know if it's coincidence or not, but a much better half since they changed hoops. And they're really looking strong here. Now here's Randall. He averages a bit over six points a game. Nice shot there by Bamba. Bamba's got seven points. Well, he's a very effective scorer from there. Bamba's excellent at using his size to his advantage. Throws it up high. Great communication on the alley-oop. Oh, just a picture-perfect alley-oop. You, you gotta love that. Now, a little surprise, Greg. He didn't go for the big slam, but it works just the same. It actually almost makes it a little more special. Grace over power is how I would look at it. And they're able to recover. Bamba. Pass to Bronze Dacus. And another shot. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Wow, wow, he got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact, straightforward call, simple. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. And he's shooting his free throws to the tune of 75% this season. Fairly standard numbers. Guys, he's slightly fallen off his pace Take from a, a year ago Take at the line. And two shots. those points from the stripe have been a little harder to come by. First free throw is good. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Catching up on the changes for Orlando. Dwayne Bacon comes in for Mo Wagner. And Anthony subbed in for Randall. And so Siakam will bring it up for Toronto. Lowry against Anthony. A floater, and there's the nice lay-in by Lowry. Lowry's got 14 points now in the second half. Deceptive and skilled at that guard position. When Lowry's scoring like this, good luck trying to defend him. Now, here's Bamba. He has seven. There's Bacon. He doesn't hit that one. Good D by Siakam. Ananobi passes to Siakam. Shoots over Bamba. Siakam's shot is off. 
And here comes Hampton leading the fast break. With one on the clock, Bacon gets the bucket. Bacon's got six, and so it's Toronto cruising into the quarter break with a 22-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. We come back right after this. And now let's go back to a play from earlier as we show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he's always been uh, the favorite to bag this honor. These kind of feeds are his bread and butter. Well, you can't run away from the DNA. When he's running the show, he makes sweet highlight reel plays night in and night out. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Fourth quarter on the floor for the Magic. They've got Anthony Carter out there with Muhammad Bamba. Then there's Hampton. And it's Bacon in at the small four. Comes up empty down low. Raptors leading by 22. Fred passes to Van Vliet. Now, here's Siakam. Van Vliet with it. Now Anthony defending. And he hits it and gets hacked on the play. A three-point possibility if he can convert the free throw. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point blank range. Can't happen. Ken Burge has checked in for Toronto. Throw good, Van Vliet. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. Now, here's Bamba. Making the pass to Bamba. Stripped away. Now, here's Van Vliet. Tight defense on him. A quick shot there, and it's off target. Now, Anthony... Pass to Bacon. Down to five on the shot clock. Here is Carter. Takes the 13-footer. Nice spin off the left rim and in. And when you call a play for Carter Jr., you really want to get him something in rhythm. Great execution there. And after only making 35% of their shots in that first half, they are slowly getting into a groove here in the second. Here's Bacon. Offline with his three. The Raptors have gone two or three from the field to get the fourth quarter started. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. The steal. And they're on the break by himself. The big dunk at the end of the break. And, you know, Lowry looks to set up his open teammates beautifully. Nice dime there, and it really keeps the team tied together nicely. Now, here's Hampton. Stolen by Van Vliet. Over Hampton. They get a hand on it, and the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Bamba. And the Raptors going out now with a whole new group. Halls checked in for Orlando. Sendarius Thornwell comes in for Hampton. Just under two and a half minutes gone here in the final quarter. Here's Hood, and he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And the foul goes against Orlando. Hood. Two shots. Two shots. First free throw is good. Harris has checked in for the Magic. Both free throws, good from Hood. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. 
The pass to Bamba. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And, you know, guys, it's really all about focus while under pressure. And right there, Bamba shows why that's a valuable trait to have. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. One shot. And that one falls for Bamba. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. Out to the right wing. Anthony against Flynn. Six to shoot. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That's his first personal foul. Shooting for Toronto. Malachi Flynn. At the line for two. 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 And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. Here's Harris. Outside Anthony. No good from outside. In Toronto, they've gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. And it's Anthony with the ball for Orlando. Here's Thornwell. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Thornwell's got his first bucket of the night. Good, solid execution inside. That's exactly the look you want. Anthony against Flynn. Pass to Baines. Over Bamba. And it's Baines missing. Orlando's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Lots of room. They grabbed their own miss. And all those second chance points have given them a boost here in the second half. And that's a great way to cut into the lead. Flynn kicks to Bembry. Addition now to Baines. Pocket six. And every miss finds its way to his hands. Well, what an impressive performance. Tell you what, those are crazy numbers, guys. I mean, believe me, I was a good rebounder in my day. It is not easy to corral that many boards in one night. Here is Flynn. Gary Harris making his last shot. Passes it to Baines. Shoots over Pamba. Baines passes to Flynn. Johnson dishes to Hood. 17-foot shot on the way. Magic have gone five for nine from the field in the final quarter so far. Looking to get back on track here, and Anthony lays it up and in. And all of a sudden, things finally coming together for them. The deficit's still large, but now not insurmountable. That kind of deficit, I think they're going about it the right way. I mean, they've got to get aggressive on defense. They need stops. And then you've got to take care of the basketball at the other end so you get a good shot every trip. Toronto calls timeout. Yeah, he needs to tell his guys to just box out with some energy. That, that's basic basketball. They've been lazy on the backboard and have allowed way too many second chance points.
Lowry finds Van Vliet, trying to end the drought, and there's Lowry. That's good on the assist from Van Vliet. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. Here's Brasdakis. He's guarded by Ananobi. Brasdakis passes to Harris. Just five on the clock. Launches a three. It's hauled in by the Raptors. Siakam's got 14 rebounds tonight. Going after. Kept alive. Perch's shot's good. The tenacity on that interior. Just battling. Bringing that effort and will for second chance points. Carter outside. Some nice ball movement by the Magic. Here's Brasdakis. He's guarded by Ananobi. Brasdakis passes to Wagner. Here's Brasdakis. He's guarded by Ananobi. Tries yet again. The shot comes out. Now Toronto takes it the other way. Van Vliet wide open. And a miss there on the triple. And it's Harris with the ball for Orlando. Pass to Anthony. Here's Brasdakis. It's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. Here's Carter, and then Carter with the dunk. Van Vliet. Siakam outside. Now the pass to Lowry. He gets it in there. Lowry's got 29. And what a take from Lowry. Using that quickness to just blaze to the rim. Harris against Van Vliet. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Here's Ananobi. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. So Orlando going with an almost entirely new group here. And the potential Ananobi has is exciting. Has the athleticism, the shooting touch, and the drive to keep improving. Now here's Randall. Count it. And that's what you like to see right there. A solid move to give himself some room and take it inside. The Raptors have gone 7 to 16 from the field here in the fourth. That's about 43%. Randall against Flynn. And the whistle blows as the basket counts and a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're He's taking the full 14. advantage. The play in the paint has gone almost entirely all their way. And the Raptors making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Bacon, he's checked in for Orlando. Orlando's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Ball's knocked loose. It's stolen by Johnson. Here's Watson, and the shot goes in. Watson's got his first points of the game. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Pass to Hall. Here's Bacon. Passes it to Randall. Birch grabs the board. Birch has got rebound number 15 here tonight. He kicks it to Watson. The three-pointer no good. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Bacon the pass to Randall. Here's Bacon. 
for Johnson. Bacon's shot is off. And here's Toronto. They're on a 14-4 run right now. Outside Flynn. Pass to Birch. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's At the line for your Raptors, Tim Birch taking two shots. The first one falls. Both good from the line that time. Orlando's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. Randall against Flynn. Randall with the ball. Six on the shot clock. Here's Bamba. Once again off the mark for Orlando. And, and as we head to the final buzzer here, a crushing blowout. Big time dominance. And, and this will go in the record books as a gouty win for the Raptors. It was a standout performance across the board. I mean, it, it was like watching a cat play with a mouse. They, they were able to do more or less whatever they wanted. And now on the year, this will take them to 28 wins. And in this era of great parity, boy, it takes a lot to sweep an opponent in four straight games. But that's exactly how they finished off their season series here tonight against the Magic. And you know, guys, what a nice performance it was for Fred Van Vliet. Every inch of the floor was his tonight as he came out and injected an energy into every play. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Toronto. And a change for the Magic. Hampton's checked in for Bacon. And both free throws good from Flynn. 106 left in the fourth quarter. Now, here's Hampton. He's tightly guarded. Toronto with the ball. They're on an 18-4 run right now. Here's Flynn. Kicks to Baines. Stolen by Bamba. Now, here's Hampton. Covered by Flynn. There's the pass to Thornwell. And it's off from three-point range. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Flynn the pass to Watsonabe. And he's been a force on the glass all game long. Yeah, I love the way he's fighting through box outs, using his elbow. I mean, he's doing whatever it takes. And so Toronto takes this one, but by a big margin. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Uh, I know their fans appreciated it, and we saw at times just stretches of excellent defense. Potency from an offensive standpoint as well. They, they were pretty much dominant. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kyle, congrats on the win. What did you guys want to accomplish and get this win? Uh, everybody played. Uh, we all played together. You know, uh, we, we stayed you know, aggressive and stayed, stayed the course of the game. Thanks again, Kyle. Congrats on the win. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David. Great job. Thanks so much. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. So long.